Hey man, what's up? Yeah. Hey man, how are you? I'm good, man. How about you? Uh, good question. Slightly hungover, but <laughs> otherwise, uh, pretty all good. Yeah. Um, it's a fun Fourth of July. It's this thing that we do over here in I the heard. states. Yeah, uh, I heard that's apparently like one of the biggest holidays or something. Uh, nah, I don't know about that. It's more like just an excuse for people to get drunk and watch fireworks, which is always good. So you know, is that happens. is that really what happens? People just get drunk. And yeah, I mean, more than usual even. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it's a good time. Um, I'm here in Washington, D.C., so we got to see some fireworks and music, so it's all good. Awesome. Um, yeah, also watching the World Cup has been fun. Yeah, so, the Netherlands is playing in four hours, three hours from now, I believe. I'm going to be watching, man. I'm rooting for them. I'm yeah. pulling, for your, pulling for your home team there. Yes, versus Costa Rica. <laughs> There's probably not going to be any Costa Ricans watching right now anyway, so it's okay. Well, we, I, we can be a bit biased. That's that's fair. I uh, on your stream, you'll uh, you'll get a bunch of angry calls. Uh, <laughs> a couple uh, yeah. of people from South America like really pissed at me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, exactly. I'm <laughs> you'll see like a petition like in your mailbox, like what? No. But yeah, oh, it's so cool. Man. So uh, well, thanks very much, man. I'm excited to uh, get some get some pro tips. So uh, you know, um, should be should be fun. Um, I was hoping you could help me out with uh, say early mid gaming pushes like. I, I tend to follow. I tr I, I'm right now in like gold league, so I try mm -hmm. to follow build orders where I can. But often, what throws me off is when I get like attacked, either like a Protoss two base all in, or um, or even like earlier like Love Zealots and stuff, or even Terran drops Widow Mines always messes you know kind of ruins my day. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a hard time getting back on a build order, even if I repel the push, which is you know not all that often actually. So, okay. Yeah, so um, I know it's not too specific, but that's kind of where I'm where I'm coming from, really. Yeah. So most of the time, uh, I coach for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, kind of depends on how long the games take, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the time, what happens is kind of depending on the league. In gold league, it already becomes quite tricky, but um, most of the time, we only get to um, really cover one matchup because right. obviously, you know, um, to do two two matchups at once is kind of tricky because that really only works in in like bronze and silver league where you can execute one build order for every single uh, for every single league mm -hmm. um, or for every single matchup rather um, and in gold league it already becomes a lot more specific so it kind of depends on exactly uh, like your statistics and whatnot and your all your own general view about the matchups um, which one we will cover but we can have a look at it um, I'm just quickly looking through the to the email you sent me uh, you said I also struggle with breaking Maxed out Mac Terran and late game Protoss. Yeah, it's just all kinds of things really that are uh, that yeah, are uh, being a problem. Well, I figured that uh, we could probably cover more of the mid game stuff just because mm -hmm. I mean it's like easier to get to first of all, and I mean if in a matchup like I make it to the late game, then you can see you know like any problems that I might have. So yeah, um, but you know I mean it's kind of I guess it's normal to have problems with like you know Protoss death balls or um, or like Mac late game is there, uh I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. I do anyway, so... De definitely, completely normal, definitely. Um, but we, we can have a look. Um, I already added you in the game. I don't know if if I actually added the right person. I gave uh, it a try, at least, but... I think you added the wrong person, mate, because I do not see... Uh, it's uh, it's O, P, O, H, capital P, O, O. Oh, okay, uh, North wait. American server, yeah. Wait. People are. I have duplicates. I have people trying to copy me. Yeah, man. Wait, wait, wait. Spelling in English is difficult. Okay, it's O H P yeah. P O O. Yeah, the O and the P are capitalized. Wait, is this is this like character ID or is this like battle tag? Oh, sorry. That's my um. That's my character ID. My my tag is I think it's like five three eight or something. That should help. Wait, let's try it like this. Oh, yep. There we go. That worked. Okay. Nice. Sweet. I have like the Narud, um, Duran, whatever. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's my beautiful uh, <laughs> portrait that I never changed. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you've been playing. Let's have a look at your letter career summary. You've not been playing too long. Have, oh, actually, you have a, a whole lot of seasons to play already. Um, started in 2013, at least on this account, right? Yeah. I've been playing a lot of team games, so, um, and a lot of unranked, so I don't know if that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, or whatever. Yeah, so I've only just recently spent a lot of 1v1, so... Yeah, it's cool though. We see some improvement, definitely, in... Uh, you know, it used to be a whole lot more bronze, and nowadays you're actually up to gold and... 
a platinum even in 3v3, three three, so that's cool. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have a look. Okay, playing quite a couple of games as well. And the statistics. Okay, this is always the tricky moment, checking out the statistics. Mm -hmm. um, you actually okay. have a very high win rate versus Terran. Mm -hmm. Okay. You actually almost 60% win tech versus Terran, man. Like, I, I'm jealous of that. I wish <laughs> I wish I had that. Um, you're 45% versus Protoss and 47% against Zerg. Yep, um, yeah, so all in all, you're actually having exactly 50% win, which is uh, where the letter wants to put you, so that's cool. Um, yeah, it kind of it kind of really depends on what matchup you would like to discuss mostly, um, because be obviously you know Taran is probably good. But sorry, uh, uh, no, sorry, I was just gonna say I guess given this, actually I didn't look at these stats before. I guess it would make sense to do Protoss then in that case. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just uh, I, I, I yeah um, it, yeah let's do that. I guess uh, two base all ins, early aggression zealots. You know what what have you? Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so real quickly, what what is normally like your strategy when you play versus a Protoss player? Do you have like one set to build order or one set to army composition that you try and reach, or is it always just you know sort of see what the Protoss is doing and then respond? Well, I usually try to go Roach Hydra and then maybe into Vipers, uh, mm -hmm. but my Viper control is not that good, and um, sometimes uh, I, I try to switch it up and go for fast ultras instead. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I mean, usually it, it's hard, I guess, like trying to imagine really what kills me the most. But I think it usually comes down to either two base all ins or early, like a seven gate push or something like that. And then uh -huh. dealing with like late game, you know, either either maxed out Colossus or a lot of, um, or like a not so much air toss or sky toss nowadays, but more like a lot of Colossus going. So yeah, like um, Colossus high Templar, that sort of stuff. Exactly. I think. Um, I think one of the things that I have my problems is lack of scouting, like especially like continuously mm -hmm. during the course of the game. So, but you know, I guess you'll see. So, yeah, like that's most of the time like the problem, and then there's like little things that you might not realize, such as mm -hmm. like when to make drones versus protos and whatnot, which is always like the most tricky thing, uh, because you, when you manage to actually figure out exactly when you can make drones and when you can stop droning, that is basically where you start easily holding like two bays all in. That's why you don't really see like two bays all in at pro level anymore because. They know exactly how many drones they can make and exactly how much they can get away with. And once they actually have made that amount of drones, they will just make units and sort of, you know, rule over the protos. So um, that's basically where you want to go, uh, where you want to okay. figure out exactly how, you know, how many drones you can make and uh, then macro out of it. But uh, we can have a look. Um, well, there we go. We already have someone actually whispering me saying that he wants <laughs> to play against you. Sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, he is gold slash plat, Protoss, so we can give okay. it a try. Nice. Yeah. Um, so most of the time what's easiest to do is that I um, sort of just let you play like the very first game by yourself without giving too much commentary or feedback. And afterwards we go over the replay and then the next games um, I will uh, tell you what to build when and the thoughts behind it and whatnot. Um, so the very first game is really just to get a good idea of exactly what you're doing and whatnot. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so. Yeah, do you have any any map preferences or any any maps that you really like to play on? Um, no, I guess whatever whatever is standard for the ladder. Really, you know, I don't want to go for something that's too favorable for Zerg. So you know, whatever's yeah. uh, whatever's good. I always like overgrowth. Always a good map. <laughs> Can never yeah. go wrong with overgrowth. Do, do, do. Okay, man. Go with light pink, why not? The real manly color. That's the, that's the color Stefano plays with, so you got that going. It is a good manly color, it's true. I'm channeling the power of, uh, of Stefano right now. Yeah, yeah. he always used yeah. to say, like, go, go, pink Power Ranger whenever you loaded up the game. <laughs> I don't know what, it, what is that all about, but... <laughs> you never saw Power Rangers as a kid? Oh, man. You I, I have, I have, but uh, I just don't understand. Instead of GLHF, why you would say, go, go, pink Power Ranger. <laughs> Maybe he had a thing for Kimberly the Pink Ranger when he was, you know, when he was, uh, when Grandmaster League was just a twinkle in his eye, you know, at age five. <laughs> you, actually, really, you actually remember the names, that is impressive. Uh. That's about the only one that I remember, I think. <laughs> it's the only female one. Did, did, did I have a crush on the Pink Ranger? Maybe, <laughs> no. Uh. Okay, man, you ready? 
Yeah, let's let's get this show on the road. <laughs> let's do it. So I will just watch the game completely through your vision as well. So um, I will know pretty much just as much as you do, except for okay. the production tab. But uh, that's about it. Sounds good. Frank W Ducks. He's helped me nice. out before. I believe he's like a diamond level zerk. So. Ooh, okay. Well, it's good. He uh, he knows what to expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just keep in mind, there's um. It might uh, go a little bit differently than you used to whenever you're playing right now because obviously there's people watching and you got someone whispering in your ear and your opponent is likely watching exactly what you're doing on the live stream on a lot of monitors. So, um. no, Loco, you whispering in my ear will actually give me courage. So <laughs> do not, do not even worry about it. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I'm just saying in case like things go uh, horribly out of hand, don't blame yourself. There's a big chance. Uh, it's just very different. Well. Whenever I talk too much, feel free to just uh, tell me to shut up. That's uh, sometimes something that happens. <laughs> just try and play your own game. Sounds good. Well, people in the chat are already telling me to shut up. That's so uh, <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, your fans love you when they, uh, you know, are, are honest. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see. Going for the spawning pool first. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh wow, that's sweet of him. Yeah, they didn't, didn't need to do that. <laughs> that's fine by me, man. Oops. Damn it. By the way, if I curse, I apologize in advance for any uh, <laughs> any profanity on. Uh, it's okay. Both Twitch and YouTube allow it. It's okay. <laughs> Unless there's like some diehard racism going on on the stream. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of racism, I hear you're not a biggest. Whoops. I feel you're not a biggest fan of Protoss, so does Protoss racism count? I, I, I don't know. No, that's just bias, man. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a different sort of racism. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I like the third hatch. It's good. So far, there's really nothing, uh, nothing to be said. By the way, like this could easily be master league as well. <laughs> it's oh, really no good. difference at all. Should I should I type in easy so far on the stream, or is that a little bit premature? I, I think that would be a bit premature, but if <laughs> yeah. you want to uh, that was, show that was who's sarcasm. alpha, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was definitely sarcasm. Um, let's see. Okay. Oops. Ah. 
I like the overload spread, dude. It's really nice. It's good stuff. Thank you. Hmm. Now the question is, do we want to go for some sort of attack or expand? That's the question. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, probably... Probably not. Ah. Uh, one thing you might notice is that my shift keys um, tend to get a little screwy. Um, so... If you okay. see what, um, ah, new keyboard would definitely be very nice right now. <laughs> I know what uh, you mean. Right. Um, that would be one way to, for me to get a rage quit done. <laughs> if I if I have a keyboard that isn't working. <sighs> oh crap. That's not good. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Yep. Eh. Uh, I think I might have to GG out of this one. I did not see that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you actually had full vision of it on the minimap. But... Oh, okay. too busy, too busy <laughs> uh, concentrating on my um, stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. totally cool. Okay, let's have a look at the replay. So I wrote down a couple of thingies in that uh, in that game um, about that game, um, and I think they're all pretty pretty easily fixed to be honest. But we can have a look at it. So all in all, like the start of that game was very well done. There was really nothing wrong with it at all. Um, the overload spread I really like, the vision you had on the minimap was actually really nice as well. Uh, most people, especially like below Platinum League and Diamond League, generally don't get the over like the watchtowers all the time. But you obviously kept retaking those two. And um, that is like one of the biggest things ever to do, so that is that is all very, very good. Okay. Um, so, oh, that, that, so, yeah, that was nice. My bad too, uh, Frank, by the way. Sorry for the lack of GG there. It's kind of not intentional, but okay. Oh, I'm yeah. sure he's, he's watching. Uh, <laughs> it's always the one thing. Um, now, the, I guess the biggest thing that you should probably um, swap around a little bit is more or less um, um, is more or less a priority list. So most of the time, what would happen um, in a later bit of the game, like the early game, it was all going fine, but in the later part of the game, um, you would really start focusing a whole lot on microing zerklings around and making sure that that queen didn't die in the natural. Um, and, um, just, just, you know, general, general creep spread and all that kind of stuff, when really the priority is pretty much always going to be to first hit all queen injects and then make all the drones, okay? So, okay. instead of spending a whole lot of time, like, uh, microing zerklings around and microing drones around, it's just better to just attack move the drones right there, um, hit the queen injects and then go on, um, with doing all the other stuff, because... Um, you, you actually macroed very well, but it was just all of the time there was um, There was larva available, but they weren't really built into drones, right? Right um, So what I would first change out, I'll actually write it on Skype as well, it's a bit easier uh, So first thing is Zerg priorities 
priorities. This is a difficult work. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's always gonna be Queen and Jax first, then spend the larva on drones. Um, and after that, you know, it, it, there's a whole lot of other things. And then there's micro links, um, creep threat. Okay, so the first two things that are most important are always going to be the Queen and Jacks and the Larva um, that need to be spent pretty much right away. So that is like, in general, like the biggest thing that's most important. Um, where you want to focus a whole lot on spending that Larva right away and spending um, a lot of time just focusing on the Queen and Jacks. Okay. Um, that is like sort of the, the general thing, I guess, and that's probably happening in the other matchups as well. So once you manage to know that, um, it will already uh, probably be a lot easier. Um, I'm just curious, like, typically when do you, like, in this kind of situation, when is it really good to start just, like, making non-stop units? Is after you start, like, have maybe, like, 10, I don't know, drone saturation in your third base, or do you want to get fully saturated, you know what I mean? Like, because I saw him taking oh. a third, so I, I assume that a push would be coming later, um, than, like, around, like, 10 minutes, so I, I actually wasn't really sure of the timing there. Uh, most of the time what you want to do is get a bigger economy up than the Protoss, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. So it doesn't really matter what situation that is. Even if it's like he is on three bases, you want to get four bases. And if he's on two bases, you want to get three bases, right? Um, because when you get more economy than him, the longer the game goes on, the bigger your army will just be, right? Um, so most of the time, indeed, like 10 or so drones on the third base and then making non-stop units will be um, the best way to hold two base all ins. Okay. Um, because let's say let's say you have forty drone income and he has thirty probe income, that will mean every you know every minute that goes by you get twenty five percent more income than him. Uh, actually, is that thirty three percent or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it actually would be thirty three percent. But uh, you always want to just establish a big economy. Now the one thing that you need to watch out for though is getting full saturation at a third base because if you over drone, that is obviously the point where things become kind of tricky. Okay. Um, so I actually quite like the amount of drones you had. Um, I, I just think they could have been out a bit quicker if you if you would have spent the larva right away. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. What else did I write? Oh yeah, I wrote down the gas, gas timing right there. You took the gas, guys, it's right around five, and, yeah, five minutes right here. Um, that's a bit too early, to be completely honest. Um, most of the time in Zerk vs. Zerk, or Zerk vs. Protoss, rather, you would want to get your gas geysers right around 44 supply. And 44 supply is actually right around the um, 6 minute mark. So, um, in ZVP, gas geysers around 6 minutes um, is 44 supply. And that's actually quite a nice way to also like see if you're doing it right, because let's say around the six minute mark you only have 36 supply or something, you're obviously missing out on like eight workers for no reason, right? Right, okay. Um, so that's another another pretty good thing to always keep in mind. Um, Do you typically drop a, war, a Roach War and then like 30 seconds later or something like that? Or Yeah, exactly. I actually really like the Roach War in timing. I think you took it right around six minutes or so, six and a half. That's a, that's a solid timing for a Roach War. So Roach War between six and 6.30. Okay. Um, if you feel like he's gonna be aggressive, just drop it at six minutes. If you feel like, okay, well, I don't know if he's gonna move out, just drop it around six thirty. Okay. Uh, but you actually did that uh, that well in this game, so that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Is that a queens? Nice queen injects. Walking it over. See, that's all going great. But now, for example, if you take a look at the third base, I know it's really mean being pretty nitpicky, right? With uh, a couple of larvae available, but. Well, you keep in mind that... Oh, yeah! Oh Thank you for subscribing! <laughs> Someone just subscribed and <laughs> scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> cool, man. Welcome to the Lucky to be Family, dude. <laughs> you, do, you, do, you do have a really good thank you for subscribing um, message, I must say. <laughs> I give myself, like, a freaking headache every single time it goes off. <laughs> thank you so much, cool, man. Uh, what was I saying? All oh, right, I was being I was being nitpicky about the drones, right? Um... When you take a look at all the larvae that are right now available, there's actually 14 larvae available. Now, when you keep in mind, uh, a drone mines for, let's say, about a mineral a second. 
-hmm. You're basically losing out, but every second that these larvae are available, you're basically missing out on about 14 minerals. And it may not sound like a lot, but if, let's say, they're, like, just wobbling around this larva for, for six seconds, you're already missing out on 100 minerals, right? And um, it just it just counts up very, very, very quickly. Um, so, basically, what you want to try and do is, as soon as a larva is available, doesn't matter in what base it is, you just instantly right. make it into drones. Just right. as soon as possible. Um, okay. And then I wrote down a couple more thingies that are very specific to Zerg versus Protoss, but I think it's just better to focus on these things for now. Sure. Um, okay. So what, what what do you think is the best way to go? Do you think uh, we should just open up a custom game and play versus nothing, or would you rather play versus an opponent? It's kind of up to you. I feel like I would rather play versus an opponent, I think, because I think the pressure is definitely something that, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that's really kind of where it, where it gets me the most. Um, yeah. Also, like I noticed, you mentioned before, if, if we zoom it up a little bit, um, you know, you could see on the mini map probably like him moving out. Mm -hmm. I was actually so busy focused on um, on just like dealing with the my shift key and other things, <laughs> I totally missed it. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's um, totally cool, man. That's that's no yeah. problem. That's just something that comes with practice as well. I mean, like mini map awareness is really no. You know, some people say, like, look at the minimap every two seconds. It's like, no, that's that's not really how it works. You just sort of, <laughs> you know, it just happens over time. There's no there's no magic rule when it comes to, like, having that minimap awareness. I'm sure you would have seen it, though, if your shift key wouldn't, like, have fucked you over. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's try playing uh, another game against uh, an opponent. Okay. We'll give it a shot. Okay. Let's give uh, Frank another try. Frank was doing very well right there. Uh, I actually just went out of the replay. Uh, okay, I can... There we go. Okay, so this time around I will talk you through it a little bit, which is mostly going to come down to Queen and Jack, Queen and Jack, Queen and Jack, but uh, just bear in mind it's all for the greater good. <laughs> now what's likely going to happen um, is that whenever... Is, is that you're probably going to make more drones than you're normally used to, right? And you're going to get drones out quicker than you used to. What's likely going to happen is that you're gonna hit so much minerals that you don't really know how to how to spend them, and that is like a a problem that is for like a next game. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna try and get as many drones out as quickly as possible, and then um, afterwards we can figure out what you're gonna spend with the mineral or where you're gonna spend the minerals and the gas. Because um, you know, if you if you're not used to having that much income, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, oh, do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, um, why am I picking Terra instead of Zerg? Um, <laughs> thanks, no Frank. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think I have any questions for now. Um, but I guess let's just shoot up. I might have some though when we're playing or when the game's going on. Okay, yeah, sure. We can always pause, by the way. It's obviously a custom game, so uh, just pause whenever. Okay. Um, but yeah, just play the early game like you did just now. There was uh, not much to be changed right there. The microphone all of a sudden started acting up or something. Mine, you say? Oh, I guess it's back again. Yeah, no. Sometimes uh, Skype is a little bit random, where it all of a sudden boosts your microphone like crazy, but it's cool now. I like the fact you set up these hotkeys as well. Yeah, I actually started doing that after watching some of your videos, and I try to use them when I can, although sometimes, um, just because of the way I think I have my fingers in the keyboard, it's... Um, kind of awkward uh, uh -huh. yeah yeah you just get used to it over time I used to always set them up and never use them <laughs> it used to be my way of doing it but it's okay I'm um, just curious typically what do you normally um, I normally have my my ring finger on the S key um, like typically just because that's like you know the the, the default larva um, key oh, right, so yeah. I'm just curious what uh, what your keyboard setup is like. Um, I actually use the grid hold keys. So that's like the, the standard grid hold keys in the game. Okay. Um, so I generally also put my ring finger on Q, which is the select larva and drone button. So I just spam Q, 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 Q. Um, it, it's practically the same thing, but yeah. Yeah. I would probably also use my ring finger if I was using the standard setup. So that's cool. Okay. So just throw down the pool again. By him. 
And then as soon as soon as a larva is available, just try and make it into a drone. Bam. Good. That is why you see most of the pro gamers spam all the damn time. They want to try and minimize the downtime uh, on that larva being available. Because, you know, even if it's only a second, they're losing out on a mineral, right? So. Okay. Just attack move him around, yeah. I don't think he's gonna... Oh, he's gonna lose again? Wow. Okay. Make down the lair, or the hatchery, rather. Bam. Cool. So, we see him going for a nexus first again. So, just send that drone back home for mining, and make an overlord. Right now? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, I want to make a queen next. Uh, you might actually want to send that returning drone to your third base. I mean, it's over there right now, anyway. <laughs> okay, oh. first the queen. Um, okay. And then uh, you want to make the uh, the uh, next hatchery right around uh, you have 300 minerals again. There's always a bit of a funky moment in, in Zerkfist Protoss, right? Like, there's no given best way to do this. Some people take them at around four minutes, some people take them three and a half minutes, some four and a half, like... Okay. Bam. Okay, so right now we're gonna focus on making as many drones as possible. It's just whenever you have larva available, just try and make it into a drone. So right now you got a couple. Bam. Okay, Queen Inject, then walk it to the natural. Ah. Should I get another queen, or...? Yep. Okay, good. Want to re-rally everything to the natural. Want to make an overlord. And then straight back into droning. So just uh, 5 SD, 5 SD. Cool. Okay. Now have a look at that queen energy. It is going to pop out in a little tiny bit. So... Okay. Just try and uh, get as little as possible on that queen. Bam. Good. 4SD, yep, or 5SD. Okay, so what you want to try and hit is 44 supply right around 6 minutes. That's like the first little benchmark we can try and hit. Should I uh, probably send out a couple Zerglings as well? Yep. Okay, Queen Inject. I am good. Start another queen right there. Good. And you want to start double gas. So so far, it's actually way better already than in the previous game. You already got about eight more drones than you had in game one. That's quite a lot. Okay, nice. So just do some scouting around. Maybe even move the zirklings on the minimap. And want to start a roach warn. And fly in the overlords. Oops. Okay. Want to remake the overlords already in advance, by the way. Okay, good. And now 4 S or 5 SD, 5 SD, 5 SD. Yeah. Okay, just attack move with the Zerklings. You might want to walk around a little bit with the Queen at the third. Okay, good. And run, run, run. Okay, so have a look at the Overlords. Do we see anything? Uh, good question. Well, we saw double gases, not all or too much, but uh, it's hard to it. say. Okay, doesn't really matter all that much. Want to go for a lair? Zergling speed? And you want to move about eight drones or so from the natural to the third. Because you got way too many over there. Yeah, just that many, whatever. And then very rarely everything to the third base. Okay, so want to make like five overlords. And from now on you want to start making only units. Okay, so this is where you were at in the previous game, right around nine and a half. Yeah, it's already freaking <laughs> minute and a half advantage. Well, that's good. Uh, so just get the overloads out of there, and what you want to try and do is indeed scout that third base. Now the third base for a Protoss generally goes up right around nine minutes. So that overlord right there is perfect. Just make sure you start making only units right now. Those those drones are kind of risky. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, it's okay. Oh. Just take two more gas geysers. Okay, and get the Zerklings over to the third base. We need to know whether or not he's going to take it. Okay, good. Want to start Roach Speed? It's about to finish up. There we go. Bam. And now hit all the Queen Injects and start making non-stop units. Only units. 
Okay, so it looks like he's not taking a third, right? That likely means he's gonna do an all-in. Oh, he might. Oh, he's taking yeah. one right now. Okay, either way, you still want to make non-stop units right now. Want to put the drones in the gas? Are they actually already in the gas? Yeah, they already are. Okay, in that case, you want to get a macro hatchery. And start like five more overlords. Okay, sweet. Hello. Okay, just start making as many units as possible still. What we're going to try and do is, um, as soon as Roach Speed finishes up, you want to move out, okay? Okay. So that's about a half minute or so. Just non-stop units. Well done. Um, now there's a pylon right there. At, at your gold base, I think that is. I think there's a pylon. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, they'll cool. okay, focus too much on it. Just make as many roaches. And he might actually go for a push right now. Okay, just hit all the queen injects. And try and set up a nice little concave. Okay, well done. Might even want to try and get a uh, changeling over at his army. Or just the overseer itself. Okay, and just move that one forward. Well done. Queen injects. It looks like he's moving forward. So attack move. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Okay, you actually are way out producing him. Okay, just move forward. Right click on the um, immortal. Okay, keep macroing, keep macroing, yep. Okay, so from here on out it's gonna be very difficult to do it, but just imagine like that 1200 minerals would all have been zerg right? Yeah. It's actually possible for that to do, and then you would have had a super easy easy time to actually hold that. I like the fact you're not moving off creep though, that's good. Um, he might have actually cancelled the, uh, the third. It's a big chance he would have. Okay. Stream sniping. <laughs> okay. So just try and spend all the minerals and then uh, go for a counter attack. You actually have 15 drones or 15 roaches in the production tab, so that's good. Um, just get all your stuff together, kill all these pylons. Maybe uh, even get him supply blocked. There's actually pylons all over your site. There's another one a little bit down as well. And just hit all the queen injects and make a big army. Okay, good. Uh. Oh, what is that at the watchtower? Oh, like, yeah. Hello, Queen. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Just random zealots, all of them. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There's army. I think you can kill it. I think you can kill it. Okay. Just try and make all your roaches fight. Okay. Go, 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 go. Second forward. Good. Okay, Queen Injects. Power of Macro, man. <laughs> oh, well done. Okay, just counter attack. Should I hit the third or...? Yeah, I would go straight for the third. Just go. He's spending time warping in. Protoss is actually don't have the same way of us to make units again. He doesn't probably have anything. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. I want to target Ooh. fire. Okay, just like that. Okay. Queen inject. Okay, and a uh. whole lot of roaches. 17 larvae, yep. Cool. Okay, let's try and get his uh, natural as well. And just send a couple of the reinforcing roaches over there. Yep. There we go. 
Okay, and just attack move. Just attack move into his natural and that should be game. <laughs> the blink forward. <laughs> There's actually a whole lot. What is that? <laughs> it's a random queen. <laughs> I have. <laughs> she just wanted. It. She was feeling lonely. She wanted, you know, some some friends for the party. So. There's a lot of idle drones, by the way, in the natural. There's a ton of them. Oh. <laughs> They're just following one drone. <laughs> okay, well, Frank is uh, enjoying his minute of fame. Okay, Frank, we have seen your skill, dude. <laughs> Okay. Is that another force field? Wow. Yeah, let's just GG out of it and just jump in the replay. You've obviously won this, right? No. It's the force fields. <laughs> Fine, no worries, dude. <laughs> Frank is definitely listening. <laughs> <laughs> well done, dude. Thank you. Um, so that's just macro, right? Like. Micro-wise, things could have obviously improved, but just the sheer amount of stuff you had right there was much too much for him to deal with. Um, yeah, there, there's actually not much to be said about that. It was well played. Thanks. Um, I think like the biggest thing is like knowing when to, um, you know, when to stop, like when to just go for all units, like, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, um, I guess the biggest mistake you usually can make as Zerg um, is to make a couple of units and then make a few drones and then, you know, make a few more units and then a few more drones. Like, it generally doesn't work like that because if a, if a drone is mining for longer, it will just gather more resources, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so, generally speaking, I guess the best timing you can always go for, let me actually write this down, um, is right around six minutes or, you know, right when you take the road run, right when you take the road run. Go with the overlords, and I guess the biggest one that a lot of people forget is right between the right around nine minutes or so is when the protos, yeah. And that's actually a big thing because let's say you scout around ten minutes and you see there's no third base, there's really only one thing he can go for, right? So at that point you only make only make units. Like it doesn't make it matter if that's queens or zerglings or hydras or roaches. Generally roaches is the easiest to go for. Um, but once you know, once you scout indeed, like, there's no third base out, just make non-stop units, and most of the time you should be able to hold a two base all in. Um, What's the... I, I just have a couple questions that you sure. up in this game, because, um, you know, it was, like, all roaches, but, um, like, what's the best way for dealing with um, Colossi? Like, I mean, um, I know you, you like to use Vipers a lot, and I frankly, especially as you saw with my keyboard, my, my Viper control is kind of poor. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, like once he gets like maybe say if, if he had done um, if Frank had done an attack here like with like two or three colossi, mm -hmm. I'm kind of you know it would have been a little bit harder for me to deal with I guess other than just like trying to target fire them down. Uh -huh. uh, so that's the one question. And the other question is um, uh, I should know the other one. <laughs> Let's start with that one. Maybe it'll come back to me. Okay. Um, so generally, like when he wants to go for a colossus timing attack. It's gonna hit, you know, a couple of minutes later. Um, usually you don't see the first Colossus until around 11-12 minutes, and that's like the, the very quickest they can safely go for a Colossus, right? Um, so at that point, when you go for this style, you should be maxed out once he actually moves out. Because when you, when you actually micro, or macro properly, once he actually moves across the map with like two Colossus and let's say a couple of Stalkers and Sentries, he's probably at around 110 supply and you're probably right around 200. Um, and at that point, I guess the positioning of the army is by far the biggest deal. So at that point, on this map, for example, at the third base, you probably would have a couple of roaches come from the back and a couple of roaches from, you know, the side as well, just to make sure you surround him properly. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Uh, just like splitting up the army. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Do you um, when do you typically attack when you see him taking a third? Like, do you attack right away, or do you, you know, because like I want to try to avoid, you know, getting into a late game. Mm -hmm. um, you know. um, usually what I always try and do, uh, we didn't really do that in, in the previous game, but usually what I always try and do 
um, is let plus one missile attack and road speed line up together. Mm -hmm. um, and usually you start road speed um, and, and plus one attack uh, right around the same time. And then you see about, you know, about a minute before they finish up that he is taking a third base. That's like the standard timing for him to take it. So most of the time what I do is wait for a road speed to finish up and then move out. Um, so you actually hit him at a timing that you are strong and he's likely a lot weaker. Um, is, there a re or is there a reason why you often go for just the one upgrade instead of two? Like double? Double upgrades is a bit expensive. I actually wrote that down for the very first game. Um, most of the time what you want to do is whenever you n don't know for sure if you're safe to take upgrades, you just take a single one. Um, okay. And unless you know for a fact, okay, he's taking a super quick third, third base and he's super greedy and I probably can't really stop him. Um, at that point, it is safe to do double upgrades, but especially versus Protoss, I would be a bit, a bit, uh, a bit careful taking double upgrades. It's just so expensive to, to make them. Okay, I was just curious because like in this game, we didn't have any upgrades, but I tried to normally get yeah. at least one, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. So usually what you do, in this, in this game, what we did in the previous one is the first 100 gas we spent on our liar, right? Right. Um, usually what you do is start the EVO chamber right there as well. So what happens is that, um, ju just, just just a given timing, um, when you start the lair and you start the evolution chamber, and once the evolution chamber finishes, you instantly start plus one attack. And then so when the lair finishes, you instantly start broach speed. They actually line up perfectly. Right, right, to get for a timing, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. And that's just sort of like, you know, it's, ju it's just a given little number you can keep in your head. Just whenever you start a lair, start the evo chamber, start an upgrade, and then instantly start road speed, and they will 100% of the time line up. So, um, yeah, we didn't really focus on that in the previous game. Obviously, that's something you, you can add. Um, but it's definitely something uh, to work on as well. Um, but it, it, like I said, you know, it's never going to be more important than hitting your queen and jacks and making the drones, right? Like these little tiny specific things. Like what I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, let's say you don't hit your queen injects, it doesn't really matter if you're going to go for double upgrades or a single one, it's just not relevant. Okay, I see. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that's like the biggest thing, I suppose. Anyway, let's just have a quick look at the replay, and then uh, jump in another one. <laughs> but it's funny, because just the sheer amount of stuff you had in this game was just so much more than, uh, than game number two. Yeah, I got supply blocked uh, the first one as well, which mm -hmm. didn't help. No. That's um, cool though, like in literally one game you did like improvement from like gold to platinum. <laughs> so it's a good idea to just like make like five, five, six overlords like when you find yourself, you know, like floating too much money or... Yeah, or totally. When you're about to, yeah, okay. Um, especially when you know that you're done droning and you're just making up to, or you're just waiting for your Roach Warren or something to finish. Uh, you can just make a couple of overlords because Roaches are so expensive in, in supply, you know, like they take two supply each, I believe. I don't yeah. even know. Wow. I think so, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, two. They actually at some point used to be one supply, it was imbalanced as hell. <laughs> nice. Roaches, uh, roaches I... used, to, used to have plus one armor by default and they would also have they would also cost one supply. It was ridiculous. Like that was at the very start of StarCraft Two. It was crazy. No, I think I think we should go back to that. I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like 200, 200 roaches would actually be two hundred fucking roaches. <laughs> are you uh, are you watching from um, his perspective or mine or everyone? Uh, I'm just sort of on the everyone cam right now, just zoomed out, just checking out exactly what was going on. But uh, okay, um, just trying to see if there's like anything else that is you know worth discussing. Um, I guess the biggest thing is to realize that you just had a lot more drones than you normally have, and um, it's just gonna float a lot more minerals, but that's all cool. Mm -mm -mm. I like the, the little loop around right there with the queen. The funny thing, by the way, maybe, maybe that's good to notice as well. Um, if a queen goes up one-on-one -on -one versus a stalker, you win. But if a queen goes up one-on-one -on -one versus a zealot, it loses. Huh. Queens actually, like, stalkers actually do less damage than, uh, than zealots. Yeah, um, so if, if, let's say, that, that zealot right there would have been just a, uh, a stalker, just, you can just attack him with a queen and not look at it anymore. Same thing with a mothership core, right? Uh, yeah. Mothership core, yeah. you also win one-on-one. -on -one. So, 
Um, that's just a nice little thing, because when you know it's a Zealot, you just need to send a couple of Zerklings over, but if it's a Stalker or a Mothership Core, just sort of attack move and get it over with. Game mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so right here is when things get a little bit tricky as far as um, the mineral count goes. Um, and that's also a pretty important thing. Like, whenever you see that you're... Like, you can sort of get this feeling that you're gonna flood minerals soon, right? Like, you know, I just did my Queen Injects, and I'm gonna have to wait for the larva to pop off before I can spend my minerals, right? Do you know what I'm talking about that? Like, mm -hmm. you know that feeling? Um, whenever you are you have that and you know you're not gonna be able to spend your minerals anytime soon, just make a macro hatchery. Okay. Um, I know pro gamers will never get a macro hatchery, like, pro gamers will never get three macro hatcheries off of three bases, but it's totally cool. Like, you'd rather wanna have three macro hatcheries than have yeah. 900 minerals and just have 900 minerals. Maybe I'll forgo the macro hatch when I have 300 APM, but <laughs> yeah, until well. then, yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, whenever you notice that you're flooding minerals, just feel free to t take down a, a macro hatchery and um, okay. get that minerals down. It's going to be more important to have larva uh, than it is to have the minerals. Okay. Um, other than that, I like the double gas timing right there. Just look at income right now for the fun of it. Like... It's gonna go in crazy much in your favor right now. Right, because there's uh, 15 more harvesters, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's also because of the third base, like they spread out a lot better. So that's cool. Mm -mm -mm. Right, here he comes. Yeah. And in the first game that we watched, you were at like 90 supply at this point, in this exact same point. This time around, you're at freaking 100, and like you're 40 more supply. That is 20 roaches, right? Like, it's just macro. <laughs> Um, yeah, the only thing on this map specifically is that if you're gonna set up a concave, these roaches need to be back a little bit, but whatever. Oh yeah, else right. that happens. Yeah. yeah, I think I overextended a little bit right there. Yeah. Um, you actually do a very good job after this all happened by hitting all the queen injects. Um, cause that money is gonna go down, so that's cool. See, and even though, even though you lost that third, you're still a lot of supply up, which is quite important. Um, and the nice thing about making macro hatcheries, by the way, is also that um, you will have a lot more larvae available, and thus you can make a lot more zerklings as well. Roach zerkling is pretty much perfect against this army composition. Um, against most most army compositions, Zerklings are amazing. Because Stalkers and Zello, or Stalkers and Immortals both shoot very slowly, right? So mm -hmm. if you um, if you manage to get some Zerklings out, like versus Immortals, Immortals basically uh, take ages to kill Zerklings. They kill Zerklings probably slower than they kill uh, Roaches. Um, and sure. I guess the... sorry? Game. Oh, no, sorry, keep going, it's fine. Uh, yeah, and the, and the last thing I can give you as a tip, I suppose, is that you always gotta imagine, like, if I was playing Protoss, where am I gonna put my proxy pylons, right? This is, like, yeah. one of the most common positions ever for a proxy pylon, so it's right, right behind the gold, and, like, in this little gap, and uh, sometimes right there, you know? Like, there's a couple of positions that the Protoss always throws them up, and the easiest way, easiest way to find them is to just imagine you're playing Protoss and you're gonna do an attack, at least that's what I found. <laughs> so just imagine, okay, where would I put them in, uh, if I was playing Protoss? This is where the annoying fucking Zealots came the entire game. Yeah, if they were like Dark Templars, that would've been even worse, so... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's so just always good to, uh, to just look around with a couple of circles. This is well done, nice low engagement. This is always where Roach's Roach AI goes absolutely nuts. Like, Roaches <laughs> are kind of stupid. Um, so whenever you're in this sort of situation, it's probably better to just target fire than all, either like the... Oh, the you know, buildings, one of the buildings. Right? Yeah, just one yeah. of them. Um, that's just I mean, because I think, the AI is kind of stupid. I think at this point I was just like trying to focus back at home or something in my mm -hmm. viewpoint, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. definitely. No, no, I'm just saying like whenever you are in those situations, you can sort of expect Roaches are dumb. But even right now, it would be totally okay to put down another, uh, another macro hatchery. 
Oh yeah, you're right. I'm pulling a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. Like just imagine, like how how much how many zerklings can you make for 1600 minerals, right? Like, how many is that? That would be like 80 zerklings. No, even more. I don't even know. You can make a whole lot of zerklings at least. Just imagine that would happen right now. He would have been completely overrun, right? My APM is also. I'm just. I know APM is not really a measure of skill, but I feel like in terms of like playing games, like I tend to get a little bit lazy and I let it slip a little bit. You know, just mm -hmm. in terms of like number of actions that I'm doing. So that's also when you have like someone talking your ear, telling you to do this, this, and this, and this. It definitely helps. So maybe I should uh, get like a pre-recording of that. And just <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm taping this conversation right now. <laughs> no, I actually know there is this YouTube channel that is. Um... It's called like spoken build orders or something that tells oh, yeah. you exactly like make a pylon like yeah you know? I think I, I think I've seen that and I've got this like ding like um, yeah yeah yeah, some sort of really, yeah. <laughs> it's like a microwave <laughs> yeah, okay, it's, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool though I'm but gonna, uh, I'm gonna try that. I don't I don't know yeah you can try it I don't I'm not the biggest fan of that sort of stuff I don't think it really teaches you all that much but uh, if you really want to focus just on a build order I suppose that can be useful but yeah it's a dude like bing. Make two overlords. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so yeah. um, at this point, like, I mean, like, I guess I would also just, you know, throw down like other tech buildings just as a follow up too, just in case. But yeah, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you could make overseers right now. You could make a spire. You can make more bases. You can do all kinds of stuff. But once you kill a third and a natural, it's practically game over, right? Because normally, and um, that's always also something nice to just keep in mind. Usually, after like 15 minutes. The main base is guaranteed to be mined out. Like that is just sort of what happens. And if you're, if you, the Protoss is, you know, so cold on one base at 18 minutes, he's just not gonna have any mining going on anymore. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I suppose. We can, uh, we can play another game though, if you want. Yeah, I, I like that. I think. Cool. So don't want to go information overload. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'm gonna try to. Um, yeah, no, it's good. Okay. Okay, should we go a different map or just the same one? Doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever's good, man. Whatever you prefer. Okay. At least Overgrowth will stay in the next uh, next season. I always like Habitation Station, but uh, rip. Okay, <laughs> the pink zerk. Well, you know, I find that it works actually really well, like the aesthetically speaking, with the purple creep. I mean, I know that's like silly to say, but like I, don't I know, always looks... play purple. I've always been playing purple since forever. No, because then then you can't see your own stuff, you know, because it's like it blends in with the creep kind of, and then you're like ah. Especially when it's a ZBZ. I don't know. Ugh. I have enough problems. <laughs> you know, you can hit Alt plus F um, and change the colors. <laughs> That would have been good to know. <laughs> no, I actually did not know that. Oh, no, wow. Alt plus F actually, it, sometimes it's useful. Um, apparently in custom games, the best color to play is yellow. Because yellow sort of blends in with like the uh, minimap or something. Oh. Something silly like that. Um, and if you hit Alt plus F, it actually resets it. So it makes Zerg green, I believe, and your opponent blue or something. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so your um, opponent's confused, but you're, you're not, right? Yeah, so you, you can just see like the default colors instead of all the fancy custom games on. But that's just a, a life hack. Anyway, let's let's have a look. <laughs> let's do this. it again man I don't know what that microphone does as soon as there's like a game loading up it goes ape shit wait can uh, you say something yeah I, I hear you just fine man you're committing long clear that is funny like as soon as you say something the whole like noise and whatnot goes away I don't know Maybe how it works. It, it could be this microphone, honestly, because this is actually not my microphone. I got it just for you. Um, uh -huh. No, for um, for uh, because my, my my PC doesn't have a built-in one, so um, mm -hmm. normally I just use my laptop. But I uh, figured since there's a stream, I don't want to have any sort of like feedback or whatever. No, it works fine. This one is fine. As long as I'm not coming in like you know, sounding like I've just inhaled helium, you know, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's. 
I, I have coached people man. before that sound like they live underneath like a bridge next to like a, a motorway or whatever. Like, <laughs> it's like absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, or people that are like having their computer in the living room and you hear like dogs and like visitors in the background or whatnot. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? I don't, I can't actually understand you. What did you say? <laughs> Happens all the time. It's fun though. It's all fun. He does some early ass scouting. See, whenever I see a probe like that, it must be a pile on low ground, pretty much. Guaranteed. He's so early. Oh, people in the chat are saying it's Skype. Yeah. Skype is kind of stupid. Okay, cool. So just, uh, I would actually just uh, patrol that probe in his natural, just try and be as annoying as possible. There we go. Okay, just make sure you don't lose it like he's been losing his. Okay, by him. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. Okay, cool. I'm gonna start at an overlord, and then you wait until you can start a queen. Okay, cool. Uh. Queen or Overlord. Yeah, I'm Queen. And a set of circlings, and then afterwards you want to get the third. Okay, so once again, just take that, uh, yeah, exactly. And you want to try and actually, like, um, find the scouting probe. Yeah, there we go, with the set of circlings. You don't really want him to put up proxy pylons randomly. Okay. Good. Okay, and just right click the zerklings on the uh, on the probe. Oh well, you might actually get it for free. Yay. Did not have to do that, Frank. Hey, thank you, Frank. Okay, so just take the third. He's going easy on me, so. <laughs> Does it the uh, queen inject? Oh, yeah. Bam. And walk that to the natural. And then a lair. Or a uh, hatchery. Cool. Okay, another queen. Cool. And then re-rally everything to the natural. Um, I would actually also make it easier on myself and just make the uh, gases that you're gonna take around six minutes at the uh, third or at the natural because you're already yeah. rallying right there. It's a bit easier. Yeah, I noticed um, you tend to. Oh, oh okay. well. Um, should I make another pair or? No, just just uh, bring the other ones back home. Just send them back to the third base or something or wherever he's gonna likely attack. Okay, want to make a. Oh, you already made the overlord kit. <clears throat> you want to start another queen? I would get in the in the third base once it finishes. That was actually a little bit far, so you might as well make it a natural. Okay, make an overlord first though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. And just attack move with the zerglings. Okay, good. Just don't lose it. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> okay, queen injected the main. Almost. No! Oh. Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh no. Oh god, okay. oh god. <laughs> Bring around to Rosie, man. What have I done? What have I done? Okay. Okay, queen inject. And just make these drones. Oh no, 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 no. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Oh. No! <laughs> oh. okay. All right, well. Okay, well, it's okay. It was for the greater good. Okay. Uh, I guess we okay. another queen. Yep. So get all these minerals down. Okay, I want to start double gas, guys. This as well as a roach one. Oh. Whoopsie. And a roach warren. Cool. Queen inject in the natural. And fly in the overlords. And I would re rally the third to the third. Okay, nice overlord timing. Okay, let's see what we can find. No gas is taken in the natural yet. That's important. Ooh, this is like a DT rush. Yeah, it could be. Okay, just make a lot of drones. We still want to lower the drone count, or up the right. drone count rather. Okay, want to put the drones in the gas geysers. Whoops, <laughs> I'm used to making it in the... Yeah, uh, I see. And I would also start a couple more gas geysers right now, because we're a little bit late on gas. Okay. So take that watchtower and also set a circling at his third base. 
Okay, I want to make, uh, yep, nice old overlords. Put the drones in the gas geysers, good. And keep in mind, he's likely gonna take the third in about a half minute. If he doesn't, we know for a fact he's likely gonna go for an all in. So it's nothing bad to go for a lot of units. We'll start a lair. And zerking speed. Okay. Uh, should I just start you producing units? Or? I would make a couple more drones. I would be a bit careful though with the spread of the overloads right there. I would just oh, yeah. send them uh, send them away. Just all of them. Just control click. Okay. Okay. Just wait a little bit before you send in the other one. Cool. And I would probably start making non-stop units once you know for a fact that uh, there's no third. I would double check if I were you. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. Just make non-stop roaches now. Okay, good. And then Zerklings as a follow-up whenever you can. And just rally them towards the third base, because he's likely going to go towards your third, right? Oh, there he is. Okay, you, you guys have to go away. Yeah, uh, I would actually just always just not send them out. I would just send them in a main base or something. Just let them sit there. Okay, Queen Injects. Okay, good. Roaches. Should I make a Madra hack? Some, uh, yep. or sorry, I would start yeah. Roach Beat as well. Wow, he's going for a charge. Okay, that should be game. Uh, just attack move to third base, because he's uh, actually target firing down your hatchery, is he not? Oh yeah, well, it's okay. No, he's not gonna get it. No. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice looking around right there. And just start circling right now whenever you need to. Okay, just make a couple of overlords. Uh, just try and get that proxy pylon down. You can just warp in a couple of zealots and just right click them, right? You don't want that, so... Um, oh. Yeah. That's what I mean. Oh, there's another one right there. Ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, there's a mothership core. Um, you might even want to transfuse the hatchery. Wait, what? Or like, oh. um... Yeah, or like retake the other third base. Like the third base to the left, next to the watchtower. Oh, this one? Uh, no, the, to the watchtower. Oh, uh, yep, that, that one. one. Yep. Okay, just hit all the queen ejects. That one is just in case he snipes it down. You can just transfer your drones. Okay. Just attack move. I think you should be able to finish it up. Roach speed is just about to finish. So that's very good. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I do. <laughs> okay. That's good. <laughs> you got 18 roaches yeah. incoming. Just make uh, a whole lot of them. Just make as much as possible. Queen injects. Good. Wait, why am I. Ah. It's okay. Okay, and just attack move into is natural. Yeah, I would move back a little bit now. No need to stand in range of the uh, mothership cannon. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. But I want to take a fort base as well. I actually already have a fort, I suppose. <laughs> oh well, just attack move in there. Oh well, it's almost over. He's actually just going to do another one. He might just want to finish it. Yeah, he's just going to start a second one. It's okay. Queen injects. You have three base eco against two right now. It should be game. <clears throat> I guess it's gonna take or okay. Yeah, you can just make no sub units and win. He's not gonna do anything. Let's say GG. <laughs> oh that's pretty much it. Sweet, well done. Thanks man. That wasn't even like remotely close. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's like the um, really making, just keeping on top of all the larvae injects and everything, so uh -huh. it's more like a, yeah. Yeah, and the drone timings as well, like making the drones first and then the units is also a big, big one. Mm -hmm. It was well done by him. Uh, well played, dude. Like, do you have any more questions or anything? Um, I guess one thing that throws me off often is like, what do I do if, um, 
it didn't happen this game, but instead of going with Immortals, he'd gone with like a seven gate push with like a lot of Zealots or something like that a little bit mm -hmm. earlier. Um, how do you, what's the best way to stop that? Because that's happened a couple of times. Um, and uh, it's completely thrown me off. Like, uh, not really sure how to deal with it. Okay. Um, so, you do it, like, you, you counter it the exact same way as you've been countering these sort of pushes, just roaches and zerglings. Um, and, like, exactly what you've been doing in this game is generally, like, the exact way to, to catch it. Uh, the one thing, though, that's important to realize is, I guess that goes a little bit deeper than you really need to know, I suppose, but we can discuss it, I suppose. Um, when you scout with the overlords, right, right around six to six and a half minutes, mm -hmm. Um, even if you don't see the buildings, and even though you don't see, let's say, like the gateways go down, you can mm -hmm. still scout that it's coming. Um, because the one thing you can always see is the gas guys is at the natural. So let's say, let's say you scout right around six and a half minutes, and you know he's not having a third base off, right? You checked it with a zirkling or whatever, like you've been doing in these games. Mm -hmm. um, and you scout, and you see that he does not have any gas guys are staking in his natural. Now, the standard time for a Protoss to take the gas is right around 6 minutes. So, if he still doesn't have them taken around, let's say, 6.5 to 7 minutes, you know for a fact that he is saving up a lot of minerals. And if he's not, like, spending it on a third base, there's really only one way he can spend all of it, and that would be a big gateway push. So, the biggest thing is to realize that he is having a lot of minerals out, that he is spending them on something, and it's not a third base, and that it can only be gateways. Does, make, does that make any sense at all? Yeah, I think so. So he has all four gases taken typically if he's teching mm -hmm. up like by about 6.30, something like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, but if he's not, and he's not spending his, his minerals on a third, he is likely going to spend it on like a 6, 7, or 8 gate. Should I, in that case, go... Um, like, I mean, I guess that hits around like 8 minutes, something like that? 8 or 8.5? Yeah, a little bit later, I think. Like 9 or 8.5, something like that, yeah. Um, should I still go for like... Uh, in that case... Um, you know, exact same thing, but instead of drawing up the third base, I'll just like make, you know, non-stop units or like right usually, around at two bases. Yeah, usually what you want to try and do is just get bigger economy than him. And okay. even if there's just like five drones more, you just want to start non-stop units right after. Um, because it's once again, it's just that thing that once you establish a bigger economy, um, the longer the game goes on, the more stuff you will just be able to create, right? So, um... Usually what ends up happening is that you just get, let's say, like, between 5 to 10 drones for your third, and then make non-stop units, and um, sort of just overrun him. Um, the other thing that's really important in that sort of situation is that you try and delay him as long as possible. So most of the time you will see him move out. Um, if you manage to get a kill, if, if you manage to trade, let's say, 10 Zerklings for the probe that's going to make a proxy pylon, it is 100% worth it. Okay. Because if you kill his proxy pylon probe, he will not be able to warp in, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that is also a pretty big thing. Like it's, it's, it, I guess it's a, it's a lot more, it's a lot more specific, I suppose, than uh, than the general strategy we've just now discussed. But uh, like the, the 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 idea is still the same. Yeah. The the only reason why I brought that up is just because it happened to me last mm -hmm. night while I was playing a game, and I was like, oh crap. Well, uh, how many gas geysers should I put down? Like, what do I do? I think it was actually even earlier than eight eight and a half minutes. It might have. I think it was off of two bases, but uh, he pushed out like. I don't know, like seven minutes or something mm -hmm. like that. It was just caught me completely by surprise. So I was, oh yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't really. I just wanted to know like what the best way to deal with mm -hmm. that was. So, cool man. Thanks. Yeah. Sometimes in that situation, what you have as well is that because you only have two gases, you got a lot of minerals, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's say you try and spend it, but you realize you don't have larva. Queens are fucking amazing at defending. I think yeah. they're one of like the most underrated unit ever. If you make three more queens, just queue up three more queens and take all the original ones. Just put them in your army control group. Mm -hmm. They're really, really good at uh, at holding off all ins from a Protoss. I've gotten um, used to using Transfuse a lot more often than I used to, so it's kind of yeah. handy. Yeah. They're, they're, they are really, really good at defending. So, um, let's say you see you see indeed that he's gonna move out very shortly. You're like, oh crap, I can't actually hold this, and I got no larva. Just make queens. Queens are uh, are very, very good at defending him. Okay. Um, and I guess that's the. Like the, the the biggest things of it. If you ever have any questions, feel free to just message me on Skype, or if you have like a replay you want me to take a look at, um, just let me know. Just uh, just throw it on the Skype message <laughs> All right, uh, thanks, man. I'll have a look at it. I appreciate that. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, no problem, man. And uh, let me know how it goes. I'm actually curious if you will be able to uh, once the new season starts, if you will be able to get to, like platinum league. I think you should be able to. I don't see why not. 
especially if you play like in this one, you shouldn't really mm -hmm. be losing very much versus Protoss. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to try to play a lot more 1v1s. Team games are fun, but uh, recently I've realized they've just been all rushing, so it's not quite as, you know, mm. quite as quite as enjoyable. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Okay, man, well, I'll definitely I'll definitely do that, and thanks again for all your help. Thank you very much, man. Talk all to right. you later, dude. Well, cheerios. Good luck for Netherlands, the World Cup, man. I'll be pulling for you guys. <laughs> awesome. That's in two hours. That's sweet. That's Guess right. I'll be streaming for another hour, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me know how it goes, and I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, cheers. Thanks, man. Sweet, that was a lot of fun. I actually think that...